CGRP is a peptide, that's a protein that is found within the brain and the body. Uh, it was first discovered in the 1980s, uh, and the uh, name is actually short for calcitonin gene-related peptide. Uh, this is widely found within the brain, particularly within pain processing systems. And in the late 1980s and early 1990s, it was found to be uh, very deeply involved in migraine physiology. Work done by uh, Peter Goadsby, Lars Edvinson and others back in the early 1990s showed that CGRP was released during migraine attacks and that when those migraine attacks were treated with drugs such as somatriptan, CGRP levels fell. So after that, there was a lot of interest in what CGRP was doing in migraine attacks. And it was subsequently discovered that if an infusion of CGRP was given to people who were prone to migraines, it would actually set off an attack. So it was concluded that CGRP is one of the most important mediators of pain in migraines. Drugs such as the triptans reduce CGRP levels and thereby treat migraines. And other preventive treatments that have come into use recently prevent the release of CGRP, keep levels low, and thereby reduce migraines. Blocking CGRP can be useful both as an acute treatment, in other words, something to treat a migraine when you have it, but also as a preventive treatment. In other words, something that you do to try and stop migraines happening. Triptans, drugs such as somatriptan and other members of the class block CGRP. And it's believed that that is the way that they reduce and stop migraine attacks. There are going to be other new CGRP antagonists, the Japans, which will come online in the next year, which do a similar thing. There are also drugs, the CGRP monoclonal antibodies. These are drugs such as Amovig, Adjuv, or Emgality, as well as the infusion Viepti that will become available in the next few months, that block CGRP over a longer period. These are treatments that are given every one to three months and can be very successful in preventing or reducing the intensity of migraine attacks. CGRP blocking treatments can be given as tablets, as subcutaneous injections or infusions, depending on whether they are being used for acute or preventive treatment. So acute treatments such as the triptans and the japans that will become available soon are given as tablets, although the, some, the triptans can be given as subcutaneous injections or nasal sprays. The CGRP monoclonal antibodies are mostly given as subcutaneous injections, which people can give themselves once a month, though Viapti will be given as an infusion once every three months.